And we'll fill you in too, don't worry. We're very good at bullshitting our way through stuff. <laughs> like Nick doesn't know, but there's been a few movies I didn't actually watch. <laughs> <laughs> Sound, speeding, camera, rolling. Scene 48, take 303, mark. This episode is powered and sponsored by Fortway Media. Whether it's a special event, your wedding day, or maybe a small business looking to make an advertisement or commercial, Fourway Media is the obvious choice. They turn everyday life into a cinematic experience. When you want to capture those special moments, look no further. Stop what you're doing. Check out fortwaymedia.com. Book an appointment today and don't miss out on another chance to get what you want in front of the big screen. Whether it is expert videography or photography, Fortway Media can match exactly what you're looking for. Fortway Media is known for helping out small businesses and everyone reach their dreams. Sign up today. Welcome to Take 303, powered by Fortway Media, the podcast with the guy who knows a lot about film and his friend. I'm Nick Molinari. I'm J.P. Brooks. We're talking everything film and television. And today we are talking about 1995's Mortal Kombat. And as you can notice, we are not in our usual filming space. We took our podcast out to Jersey today because we are sitting with a very special guest. He played with Manchester United, Fiorentina, and the Italian national team soccer player Giuseppe Rossi. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm charging rent. Okay. Okay. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm just gonna make sure. Speedy. Yeah. Perfect. I'm just gonna make sure uh, that you guys know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the podcast. Uh, you're. It's a pleasure, guys. Thank you. Even though you're retired, you got a lot of things going on in your life. Uh, yes. This is the beginning of the podcast. People most listen, so we're gonna let you plug right now. What do you Love got? It. Can you explain what's going on behind you? Love it. So I have the two shirts here: the red one and the blue one. This is the the Giuseppe Rossi Academy. Um, it's something that I started after my career. Um, I only know soccer. I only know soccer. I love my family and I love soccer. So um, I'm trying to stay as much as I can involved in the game. So I started the academy, trying to give back. Um, you know, I learned a lot throughout my career. And um, it's just a way of giving back to, to the youth. Um, and it's fun. It keeps me in shape too. So it's a, it's a great gig. <laughs> awesome. And if someone was interested, where could they go find all the stuff out? You guys could go on Instagram and follow us at the Giuseppe Rossi Academy. Um, I post everything that I'm doing. If it's, um, if it's, individual trainings if it's clinics if it's camps um so definitely check out Giuseppe Rossi Academy on Instagram all right I played soccer when I was a kid okay two years okay. nothing special scored one goal <laughs> just wanted <laughs> to bring it up <laughs> just, it's, yeah I just want to throw it out there I claim uh, to fame you know be sub-zero no 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 where's where's where? scorpion scorpion's right uh next to him uh left whoever's oh right there yes right yeah. there yo this guy got a mean mug look at him I can't wait to I can't wait to hear finish him I'm not afraid. Did of you Johnny. study like fatalities last night? I didn't. I was like, yo, it's twelve o'clock. I'm done. Like my tutorial stopped. Bro, how, you, how could you be afraid of this guy? Look at him. This guy looks like. Uh, he looks, a looks like, like you. Yeah, he looks a little bit like you. I was just about to say. Oh, you know what? Actually, you should be afraid. <laughs> what up? What up? Oh, what up? What up? okay. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Wait, what's up? Can you swear on this podcast? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah you can do whatever you want. All right, I get a little jab. You're worried oh, about oh, your. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> no, I'm not worried about nothing. Oh, okay. I think okay. what's good, what's good, bro? Oh, what's wow. good, bro? What's good? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. How, do we, how do we block? Uh, I, I know how, but the I can't bumpers? tell you. Oh, I got it, got it. Bumper. Okay. Oh, you son oh. of a bitch. The nut punch? Okay, okay. That was well done. This, now, that's see the chain? About. That's my brother's stuff, bro. Okay. Pull, uh, pull the two triggers. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. no, please. Bleep. Mother Bleep. Okay, this is yeah. What's good? <laughs> Bomb. Yeah. That was really. I got. I got. What the hell oh, was that? Fatal. That's bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, just a little bit. I still have a little nah, bit. No, 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 no. That's it, my Oscar. It's done. Yeah, but it's two out of three. <laughs> yeah. it's, two, it's, it's two out of three. Yeah, no, it's my first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I typed in easiest character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, respect, respect. Oh. Blocking? Learning how to block? Uh, okay, competitive. <laughs> I like the nut punch. Okay. The nut punch gets me yeah. all the time. Okay, 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 okay. okay. relax, oh, relax, just the game! It's the comeback. Good. Son of a bitch. Okay. Motherfucker, get the hell off! Oh, oh. Just that, pull uh, the two triggers. L2R. Uh, a you little got, taunt? Uh, a little taunt? Son of a bitch. <laughs> you gotta be a little closer for that. Take some time, take some time. Pull back, pull back. No! <laughs> Don't do coach him! Do it again, do it again. Let's go! What up? I gotta oh, make no, it no, interesting. No, no. Oh, oh! 
Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I was about to die. Right. Hell yeah, let's go, baby. Come on. For content. <laughs> Bro, you're not gonna hit me once. Okay. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Kick. Oh, here we go. I'm not. Are you like nervous right now? You feel I'm feeling some nervous. My, uh, Remember, Joe can't do his uh. Okay, a little crap. His final blow, blow anymore. Only you can. I don't know what that means. The the two triggers thing. Ah. Uh. I can't get close to him. I can't get close to him. <laughs> your health bar is looking a little low, bud. Yeah, it is. Do your thing. Do your thing. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Nut. Oh. oh. So I'm talking about bomb, bomb in your eyes, bro. Now you got to do hard D. You're not gonna get his whole bar. <laughs> you Does murdered, that seem fair to you? I murdered the crap out of you. Oh, oh, oh. That's bullshit. Wait, look at that. Wait. wait. He's still, oh. Fuck off. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. That's a good, that was a really good game. That was actually interesting. That was, that was intense. All right. uh, movies growing up in your family. What was it like? All right. So did we watch a lot of movies together? No, not really. But I remember my first movie that my father took us, took me and my sister to watch. And, and it was Aladdin. Aladdin. Okay. Two and Aladdin. So that was, uh, that's something that I, that I remember. What did we grow up watching? I mean. I remember watching uh, The Godfather with my father. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favorite yeah. movies. Well, I'm not surprised because you're probably playing soccer outside instead of watching movies. That's 100% <laughs> true. I'm, yeah. I'm not even joking. If it was not playing soccer, I would be watching The Rangers. That were my favorite team in hockey. New York Knicks, that was my favorite team in baseball. Excuse me, in basketball. Uh, the Yankees and the Giants. Um, and then just soccer. So for, for me, it was all sports and sports and sports. So anything sports-related, movie-wise, was something that I definitely watched. What, what what was that movie called? That guy, the the kid who had that arm. He played in the he played Rookie in the MLB. Year. Rookie of the year. That was one of the ones I used to watch and that I loved. Angels in the outfield. You know Angels in the outfield. Yeah. That was another one. We that just I loved. did a whole baseball episode, so we we Stop. were we were looking at all the baseball movies. Yeah, um, so but you obviously nice. have like a lot of hobbies also because the first time we came here to your studio where we yeah. film a Pepito Steak, yes. uh, which we should also plug. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you can uh, listen to it on YouTube. Yep, I have the YouTube, uh, Pepito Steak, um, Spotify, on Instagram, and we're Spotify. working on Apple right Yes, now. we're getting there. We're getting but um, the first time I came here, you know, all the IFTV guys, they were in all of like all the newspaper clippings yeah. of uh, your, your whole career. And then I'm over here looking the opposite way. <laughs> and I'm like, but this home theater, though, is really nice. Thank and you. you have all these uh, images from yes. movies. Um, and then in the other room, you have uh, your arcade systems. Yes. So when uh, JP and I were thinking about a Mortal Kombat episode, I was like, I know the perfect person to do this with <laughs> because he loves movies and he has like the arcade system right here. Oh yes. I and we were always it. tempted uh, anytime we're done filming an episode, we'll be like, Let, let's sneak in like five minutes on the machine. Yep. And for some reason, Peter beat both of us. Don't ask me how, but yes, he did. He did. And that, listen, that was something that growing up was something that I played all the time, but more than anything, not so much on the arcade system. I, I, I played it on my Super Nintendo. I mm. had uh, I had all the Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo. Um, I still remember like uh, the arena or whatever. You, if it, if it is an arena, whatever, it was, like how we would um, how uh, we would fight back and forth. And then I studied all like you know the finishing moves um, in the back of my head. It's always about finish him. When I'm taking a penalty kick, that's the thing that came in my head. <laughs> <I'm> finish him. <laughs> so definitely, I grew up uh, playing these video games. I grew up. Uh, playing Mortal Kombat and all these movies that you see on the wall. Yeah, and these are all my favorite movies on the wall. We've talked about video games on the podcast before. We talked about The Last of Us. Have you ever yeah. uh, The Last of Us? I one? saw the first episode. I wasn't like it didn't really hit me. It's a slow burn. It's a real it? slow burn. Yeah. yeah, it didn't really hit me, man. I gotta. I don't blame I, you. I, I do have to give it a chance. I do have to give it a chance. Yeah. So, last question before we talk a little bit more about Mortal Kombat is so obviously being on the road. Yeah. And it's not, you know, you get free time too sometimes. Yeah. Is there like a favorite movie you would pop on to watch if you were like out in a hotel somewhere or any, maybe even a genre that you really prefer to watch? Every time there was uh, there was a game, I, I would always get into the drama for some reason, something drama based. There wasn't one specific one, mm -hmm. but anything drama based, right? Um, you know, uh, just to get the juices flowing a little bit, right? Yeah. Uh, comedies never didn't really put no comedies. Not too much cartoons. I'm a big like cartoon guy. I, I love the Pixar's and all the yeah. you know, all that stuff. 
Uh, my wife hates it, so she always she's always on me. There's there's something on Netflix right now called Leo, and I started watching it. Yeah. And I was like, yo, let's finish watching it, uh, Jenna, my wife. And she's like, hell no. So I'm like, all right, I got to watch it on my own. Um, but yeah, it was always drama. Always drama movies. Awesome. And so, Nick, uh, let's talk about the movie, yeah? So 1995's Mortal Kombat is directed by Paul W.S. Anderson and stars Lyndon Ashby, Carrie Hiroki Tagawa, Ro- Robin Shu, Bridget Wilson, Ta- Talisa Soto, and Christopher Lambert. Mortal Kombat follows Raiden, the defender of Earth who is in a pickle when the outworld is now on their ninth victory and only needs one more to conquer and take over Earth as we know it. So Raiden gathers Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, and some other Earth heroes to fight in a deadly tournament called Mortal Kombat where the fate of the world will be on their shoulders. That's what this movie's about. Uh, it sounds very scary. <laughs> but, and I don't know. So in 1995, I'm born in 87. I was eight years old watching this. I was probably... Uh, why am I watching this? And I have no like parental, uh, you know, uh, supervision. I got no idea how I did, but I remember watching it, man. It was a thrill. It was definitely a thrill. I, um, I do have to watch the new one, though. I do have yeah. to watch the new one. Did, now, did you watch the movie before the game, or did you play the game and then watch the movie? Very good question. I played the game and then I watched the movie. I played the game and then I, and then I watched it. Definitely. Well, definitely. Then you're in for a treat because it has the iconic Mortal Kombat music and noises and sounds, which is like 80% of why I like this yeah, movie. Yeah, the theme song just went way too hard for no reason. And I, I was remember. re-watching it uh, when he just screams out, Mortal Kombat. Yes. <laughs> yes. Dun, dun. Oh my God, how could I forget that? I love that, bro. That was a great moment. We were yes. playing it in the car on the way here because <laughs> JB was like, what, what, what are the lyrics to that song? And I was like, well, they're very simple. It's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it's test your might. And then yeah. the guy just lists off the names of the characters. It's just Johnny that. Cage, Sonya Blade. And that's the whole that song. Is great. And it's just made by a bunch of guys in Sweden for some reason. Okay. And it was really big. Like techno was a really big thing in the 90s. Yes. So they played it like maybe five times across the entire movie. That's and that's, that's the most memorable thing because as soon as the movie starts, even before it gets to the main credits, yeah. you have 20th Century Fox popping up on the screen like the logo, yeah. and it screams, Morta! and it just begins immediately. I like hear they it. knew I how hear. good it was. And then the, like all those noises, the only one I really remember during the game is finish him. Like that's, yeah. like, that's like the ultimate like, you know, uh, phrase, I think. And get Mortal over Kombat. here. Get Scorp- over here. Wait, who says that? That's your Scorpion. boy, Scorpion. Scorpion, yes, I knew it. Get so, over here. So to confirm, your favorite character is? Scorpion. Mine is Scorpion as well. Mine was Scorpion as well. <laughs> I think I dressed like him at, for Halloween when I was six. <laughs> what were like some of the, the best parts of it? I'm talking about a long, long time ago. Like I said, I just remember like the characters. And then uh, just playing the game, it kind of brought back all the memories of these characters, right? You so had- you think it was a good adaptation of the video game? Oh, 100%. 100%. 100%. Like... You know, you play with Johnny Cage, right? And I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, I remember this dude, right? Um, the Sub Zeros, obviously, that 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 guy's like, you know, um, immortal, like literally. The games and these are the movies that kind of like, you know, you re- that you'll that you'll remember forever, right? When it came out, we were like two, so okay. we discovered Mortal Kombat probably a little bit later on. The story is just so rich, yeah, of lore. Like to have all these different worlds and they're competing against each other. It's such a great story, and and it, um, they said bits and pieces of it came inspired from Enter the Dragon. Because if you think the they dragon. go to that island to compete in a tournament with a mysterious person, That's, and yes. they're trying to gain like glory. And Bro, stuff you're like making that. me want to like watch this movie again. Like you don't understand. That's, like That's I feel I'm, like I'm giving after you this podcast. To I actually might just pop theater. it in right now. Yeah, because yeah. I can't watch it with my wife. Cause she'll she'll yeah. be scared. My kid, three years old, but I'm gonna go watch more combat. <laughs> I, I might think. like literally lock myself in here tonight and just watch it. My brother born in, is born in '89, so he's around closer okay. to your age. I'm 87. Yeah, so he's the one different. who showed me like okay. Mortal Kombat. But I was, yeah, I think even as a kid, I was kind of freaked out by it. Really? So like, yeah, I I could not handle blood and gore for the longest. So time. did you play the game? Yeah, I played the game. You played the game, okay. And then I like touched it once and I couldn't do it again. I was really? like scared. Yeah, I I was such a uh, such a scaredy cat, man. I was bad. I was a little <laughs> little bitch, is what I was. <laughs> I was scared of everything. I'm I sure had, he made fun of you. I had such a weird upbringing because my dad, he's a big movie buff okay and he had no censorship in the house in terms of what i could and couldn't watch so you were watching the sopranos at three years old basically like (laughs) like three years old no i literally watched hellraiser are you kidding me bro yeah that's crazy so there were 
like I am so desensitized to all these things. So when more uh, a family friend uh, showed me Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, that was the first one I played. Okay. On the PS2, and when I played it, I was like, okay, yeah, this is fun. I remember when I first started <laughs> playing Halo, I was like, I was like scared if my dad was gonna like take it away because right. there was blood in it. Yeah. But it didn't affect me. Like I was, I was like fine with it. So here's a question: Do you guys remember who won? the tournament in that first movie of Mortal Kombat? I forgot. And I don't know if you guys want to say it for the spoilers. No, no, it happened yeah, in 1995 maybe, yeah, for anybody on TikTok <laughs> that <laughs> wants to cause a problem. Okay, there you I, go. If there's two things you need about me, first, I don't care about TikTok. I don't care about the people. They know I don't like them. They don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> you have Pepito's hot take. Yes. I give nothing but like just my honest opinions and the okay. internet hates me for it. Really? Our I biggest, want to hear. Our I want to hear. Go, go for it. Yeah. So... He's iconic. He got 20,000 views on a video <laughs> yeah. over the summer because... Uh, Marvel Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I'm sure you haven't seen it. No. No. It's They're calling it the greatest Spider-Man movie of all time. It's animated. animated. You you might... Oh, is that animated one? Yes, yes. Really? Yeah. yeah. They say it's the best one? It's dog shit. Like, okay. they, they, the way... It's not dog, but... Oh. It's not as great as they're making it out to be. Okay. And the inner, I, I'm not allowed to say anything bad about that movie. 20,000 <laughs> views of people just, and anytime I came Bashing up, I, I would, I, I like to write, yeah. I would write paragraphs explaining detail to what's wrong with the movie. Yes. And all one, you're wrong, you're dumb. I'm going to trust that what you're going to say now comes from the heart. So the new the movie, movie looks great. Great. Yeah. Oh, the 95, 95 movie. Gotcha. Yeah. Doesn't hold up. Like when Scorpions, uh, when the thing comes out of the hand, yeah. it just doesn't look good. <sighs> But it yeah. looked great when we were kids, yeah. like, yeah, and course, we yeah. still have those memories. But after a recent rewatch, it actually does pretty, it pretty much holds up. It does? Like, yeah, yeah, it it might not have some of the best writing, but the action sequences are still good. And I mean, I might be biased because I love action movies, and I yeah. really love like the kung fu movies, the martial arts movies from the seventies and eighties. That's yeah. what I grew up on. Mm -hmm. So when I saw Mortal Kombat, it was like amazing. Right to up me. the alley. Yeah. yeah. And when I, when I compare that actually to the 2021 movie, the new one, the action sequences in the new one aren't as amazing because okay. like new movies were so wrapped up in like cinematography, set dressing and everything else. So the entire movie looks gorgeous. Okay. The CGI looks great, but then they slacked off on the actual fight sequences. And it's like, it's a Mortal Kombat movie. Like you should have like really good fight sequences. They should be like John Wick or something like that. Like <laughs> it should be, or the raid. So yeah. you so you prefer the older one than the new movie? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. In terms you? of action. I'm talking in terms of action. Okay. How about you? Uh, I'm not so. I don't really like action movies. I've, I'm kind of a weird. I'm. A, I'm. Listen, when it comes right, to tell taste, me your favorite genre. Tell me your favorite genre. My favorite genre probably is just like a drama. Drama too. Okay, yeah. Cool. Nice, dramas. Nice. I. I nice. like stories that emulate real life. Okay. I think there's something about movies um, <clears throat> that it's. So, like, there's two things. One, we're creating this thing and we know it's not real, right? The best movie is the movies that suck you in and you forget about real life. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. those are the best ones. Definitely. So, the best thing is, like, about a movie, I think, is that I know it's fake. When I come out of it, I know it's not real. But it moved me in such a way that I thought about my own things in my own life. Nice. And so, okay. it's moving. So, that, when it tugs at the heart strings, I'm a big heart guy, so it's all about heart. And so, if a movie can hit me in the heart, even though it's not in reality, it's like, that it moves me, so that's why if a movie can move, a movie can move me. Uh, that's what it's all about. So that's why I love dramas. Awesome, man! Awesome. You know what? Talking about that, the movie that because I'm a big drama guy, like yeah. I said, the one that moved me the most, and I want to, and I want to know which one moved you the sure. most. The one that moved me the most is the Gladiator, and you have that, you have that poster right behind you, yeah. bro. The Gladiator, dog. It's like what a freaking movie! Like what a freaking movie! And I'll never forget. Actually, I never cried during movies. Um, truthfully, the older I get, the more I cry about the dumbest stuff in movies right now. But when I was younger, I literally cried when, you know, yeah. uh, no spoiler, all right? No spoiler, <laughs> but, you know, they, uh, they, um, yeah. uh, they killed his family. So that, that was, that was crazy. That yeah. was wild. I'm actually not surprised because I had a question for you about like yeah. tournaments. So I'm not surprised Gladiator is your favorite movie. Just from like watching you record a podcast that you yeah. love your family yeah. you love, and you're a big competitive guy. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even put that. I didn't put two and two together. Family. Yes. And also like. Um, you like that person who pushes you, as I said in the podcast. So I'm yeah. not surprised. Like that guy is like egging him on and pushing him. Like yes. that. I don't know. Russell Crowe and you maybe have a lot in common. <laughs> yeah, bro. I kind of I see myself, especially that bicep that yeah. he has. <laughs> Definitely, it's all in the bicep. So, um, so question. Yeah. So you like fighting games? Yeah. And yeah. fighting games are considered the most competitive of mm -hmm. all video games. Okay. It's one on one. 
Okay. And it's who's better than the other. Yeah. Do you think that you like Mortal Kombat because it very much I mean, has that competitive nature to it, which is what you're so interested in? Hell yeah. I mean, more than anything, like I, I think they did a great job, especially in this new game. Um, yeah. And, you know, yeah. you guys will see. I mean, uh, we played it. It's like really engaging. Like it's really engaging uh, the moves and the way that they're able to, um, you know, um, you know, recreate this fighting scene, which is like amazing. Right. Um, but besides that, uh, I am a competitive guy and uh, that definitely gets my juices flowing. I think I called you a couple of names. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Oh, I hope we stay friends after this. A lot of that. Nick, I'm sorry you too, bro. All right. I lost a devastating one against you. Uh, my heart was like, I'm um, in a bad place when I was playing. Oh, this you're guy, good. This guy. I I only played the new game, so these are. Yo, a nobody little... gets Liu Kang unless you like, <laughs> literally play this game every day. You're like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sick. Who won that in the movie? Okay, oh, don't give it away. I don't want the people to start. <laughs> 1996. You gave away. Okay. Okay. A little knife action. Okay. A little knee. Put a pole down. This not This is where I live. Is that what it is? <laughs> Little banner. Tell him no. Oh no. Son of a oh bitch. no. Look at the grab. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh wait shit. a minute. I'm telling you, Baraka knows what he's doing, bro. Yo, time him out for 60 seconds. No touch. Uh, a lot of jumping. I'm 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 a jumper. Don't ask me why. It's a close one, boys. There's the flag. What, what does I'm... that mean? The damn flag. I don't <laughs> know. The banner. Flag. Show some You're... respect. Yeah. What's good? Oh Ooh. shit. On this last 26 seconds on oh. the clock. I'm just... Oh, shit. Okay. 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 Oh, he oh. missed. He goofed. He goofed. You got him, Jeffy. Get him. There you go. Yeah, get him. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, let's go. No, 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 no. Mother. No, no, no. No, no, you got him. You got him. Don't, no. Don't choke. Don't choke. You cannot choke this. You have it. Ah. You have it. What are you no. doing? What are you doing? You have it. No. No. Oh. No. Motherfucker. No. <laughs> How did I miss that? Every what an idiot. Every single one. Oh. I gotta make a comeback. God, that was so brutal. It was really sad. Okay. Okay. The double kick is working. I think my life, I like, I lost a year in that battle. That's what I'm doing. This is the thing I'm doing all the time. Boom. No, no, no. Nah, I can't. Okay. 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 Yo, he got oh, him in the corner. Shit. He's, he's scared. He's scared. He's scared. Is he? Yeah, he's scared. He's nervous. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, that was oh. big. Get him, get him. Oh, oh, oh no, not the kid. Wait. Oh, one punch, one kick. Oh, 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 not again, not again. Uh, not again. Uh, <laughs> not again. <laughs> Let's go. Don't do it. Wait. Oh. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You see that comeback out there, bro? All right. Let's go, baby. You got to close it out. Let's Save go. Come on. You won the second round. Save time. I'm a second round player. Okay. I always win the second round. Come back, kid. Okay. I gotta play simple. There you go. There you That's go. what's working for me. Yeah. That's what's working for me. Oh, nice yeah, block. What's good? Nice what's good? Blocks. Oh. What's good? What's good? Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what's good? Ah, oh. don't you dare jump in my area. I dare you to jump one more time. I dare you. Come on. This is a very you strategic. Ah, oh, you uh, saw that. It. <laughs> oh, I lost track of you. There oh, you go. Shit. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? That's what I have to get better at. I took your Watch patience. out for the bumper. He might end it. Oh, this might be uh, it. This might be it. There it, oh, is, there it? it is. Oh, come on! Wait wow, that's nasty. Wait a minute. You're up. You're up. Well, no, you're, no, you're not. It's done. Wait. No, I'm still, yeah. Ah, you son of a bitch. Bro, I hate this game. You know. <laughs> not punch. Of course, not punch. Nah, I just give you a couple kicks. All right. <sighs> Against you, sorry. Um, but yeah, man, like those competitive juices just come out. I'm, I, I'm not like a Call of Duty guy. Yeah. I'm not like a, a Fortnite guy. Like I don't do that. It's the fighting games. If it's Mortal Kombat, I was also a big Tekken guy. But that's yeah. another. Well, that, that's another discussion. Well, yeah. hang on, wait. Uh, okay. In terms of fighting games, okay. What's the best one? Is it Tekken, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat? Not Street Fighter. Not Street Fighter. Interesting. Okay. So a lot of the world strong, disagree strong with feelings you. there. Yeah. A lot I, of world. I'm glad that I'm glad that you good. Not Street Fighter. I don't want to see no Street Fighter. I'm going to have to say Mortal Kombat. Yeah. 
I'm not to say Mortal Kombat. Um, that's yeah, that's the best one in my opinion, Mortal Kombat. But don't give me no Street Fighter. It's what? funny because this year a new Street Fighter came out and a new Mortal Kombat came out. Really? Yeah, yeah they were what neck are, and neck. What are the consensus? I think Mortal Kombat is yeah. yeah. Mortal Kombat Mortal took Kombat. it. They, took it. Okay. Because Mortal Kombat also integrates like other like worlds from it. Okay. So it will t- like there's a Mortal Kombat vs DC game that came out a few years ago. So Superman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, all those people. Bad. They oh. fight Sub Zero and everybody else, yeah. and then Sick. I even know. like yeah. right now they're always bringing in new characters. Like the one from the, uh, that we just played. Yeah. Uh, they have Spawn in there. It has Omni Man in it from Invincible. It has oh, wow. uh, Peacemaker from the Suicide Squad. Mm-hmm. They keep bringing in other characters. Um, I think the last one they also brought in like Terminator and RoboCop. It was like absolutely insane. <laughs> so Mortal Kombat's always like bringing in other universes yeah. into their stuff, and it's just I think it's more realistic in terms of like how they're moving around. Okay. Street Fighter, the new one is very cartoony. Okay. So yeah. Like there's a lot of like streams of like red and blue floating through the screen. I'm not okay. a big fan of that. Gotcha. Like this is very like realistic. Yeah, hundred percent. Is that is that also what you like about the game? Like the blood, the gore, the craziness. I gotta say. I was very into it when we were playing. <laughs> so was like, yeah, those like I thought I wasn't. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna sound Maybe like a, a little bit. I'm sounding like a little like about yeah. like yeah. you know, like as if I love Jeffrey Dahmer, but I don't. <laughs> like I'm a, I love what they're doing uh, there in the Mortal Kombat, bro. Those like those finishing moves were like ridiculous. The stories mm-hmm. are getting so much better. If the stories from the last two games were made into movies, they would be phenomenal. Like those are ones that suck you in. I don't know if it's because, you know, you're playing as these characters, but, like, the cinematography of how they're moving around these characters and the the graphics is just amazing. So here's a a question for both of you, right? You got a movie like Mortal Kombat. Do people want to hear a storyline, or do they just want to see these guys fight? So do you make the movie 50-50, or do you make the movie literally 80% fighting and 20% storyline? That is a great question. We talk about... um, video games into movies all the time okay so a lot of i think personally Mm -hmm. a lot of movies make the mistake of doing this thing they try to please both the fans and they try to please everybody yeah it's very tough to do both and so most people if they do that they mess it up yep so this new mortal kombat movie i would say is a big fan pleaser which is easy uh, to do, but you're not going to attract everybody. And when you say fan pleaser, does that mean more storyline or more fighting? More fighting. Awesome. More fighting. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, but I still felt this one, they made it somewhat accessible to new people. I don't. I just think most people wouldn't give it a chance. Right. But it is good. I really recommend the new movie to watch it. Cool. Yeah, the more new action. one, it, it's a world building movie, and it's also very much setting up a sequel. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we'll get one out of it. Okay. But I would like to. Yeah, I, I'd love to see where it, where it's going because it's such a rich world to explore. And I think for these kinds of movies, you need a good balance. Okay. Because if it's not, then it becomes too much of an action movie where it's just plain action. And if it's too story, then people are going to get bored. But the story is what drives Mortal Kombat because I, I laughed when I finished the, the, the new movie because they never actually fight in Mortal Kombat in the entire movie. Yeah, it's They only talk about the tournament. They never actually get to the tournament. They have to make a sequel in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They got it. Because the whole thing, the whole thing about Mortal Kombat is that every time somebody's cheating, somebody's like trying to like skip over the rules and break the rules. That that's the whole point of Mortal Kombat is that somebody's always trying to break the rules. Yeah. So it makes sense. You actually appear in video games. Yes. Unlike all of the rest of our uh, guests, <laughs> so your step up. Um, do you regularly play FIFA and do you ever are you tempted to play as yourself in these games? I love FIFA. I'm very good at FIFA. Before I, I was on the games, I used to get my favorite teams, Milan, uh, Barcelona. But then once I started playing and I was on the game, it was always the team that I played for. And I would always, yes, I was a ball hog. So I kept the ball all the time and trying to score. And when I did, I, will, I would always be in, you know. Uh, the guy's face and you know telling them yeah what's up what's up what's up <laughs> um but yeah so whenever i was on the game i used to always play with my uh with my character with my team um and, and it was psyched, great how psyched were you the first time you were in a video game it was great but it didn't look like me at all it no. was the worst like depiction of my face and my body that ever existed and they put me like that 
and they put my like my my statistics um, that I was like that I was uh, like six feet tall, like six feet tall that I weighed like one hundred and forty pounds. Which Wait, was really? Like, yeah, it was ridiculous. I'm like <laughs> six foot tall. I wish. <laughs> I wish I was. But then they started getting better, and then the graphics you were, were much just calling better. out to your wife like, "Jenna, I'm six feet." <laughs> yeah, we did it. Yeah, we, we did it. We did it. <laughs> uh, but then you know the years going by, it, it yeah. got much much better okay. and much more precise. And the ratings were actually were actually good. Were actually yeah. good. Yeah, a couple of times. And did you have to go like for like sessions to get like scanned and stuff like that? No, like, no, no. They just they just go off of pictures. And they stuff? go off of pictures. Yeah, they got much better with the graphics. Um, but like I said, uh, it was cool to like you know play as you know the player in the game um yeah fun times yeah so the question is if you're if they make you into a mortal combat character yeah what does your finishing move look like oh uh, my finishing move is yeah. i kick the guy up in the air and then i bicycle kick him bomb right into the freaking ground <laughs> so yeah excellent. that's my uh, that's my finishing move excellent all right thoughts and ra- final thoughts and ratings yeah final thoughts and ratings. Right. so um for ratings we yeah. don't do half stars so one okay. through five. One through five. Half, no, two and a half, no three. Just. All right. One, yeah. two, three, four, four five. five. All right, All right, cool. Mortal Kombat. I'm playing blind. I don't Wait, who is Sub-Zero? Me. I'm Kung Lao. Kung, Kung Lao. That's the guy with the hat. He has, if you, you should really see the new movie. He has a sick kill with his hat. It's awesome. The new really? movie's good. The movie's I gotta good. watch it. I, I, I yeah. still have to watch it. HBO, it's on. HBO? Yeah. yeah. It's good. What up? What up? What up? What up? Why are you scared? Oh, ow. Joe, are you sure you didn't practice this? I promise you, dude. <laughs> I haven't practiced. I've never played. Damn, I'm so pissed I didn't beat you, bro. <laughs> okay, nice. okay. sub. Relax. Nice relax sub. yourself, buddy. It's all about the nut punch. How'd <laughs> you just do it? Reversal throw. That's sick. Reversal? You? Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. So you play this game a lot or? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm, you get better. I'm liking Kung Lao. Cool. All the characters, they're very balanced, I'll say that. Johnny Cage? Yeah. Like it's the all, new one, yeah. he shoves somebody into like their face into the walk of fame and he <laughs> just takes their entire face off. I gotta see the movie, bro. Uh, I, like, I, I like these movies. Okay, we're gonna do that again. We'll pick them up. Kung Lao. Okay. Kung Lao. Kung Lao. Make a big comeback, Kung Lao. Working on it. Working on it. Mm. Who are you rooting against? I don't know. Bro. I was helping you I don't in like the first both round. Of you. I don't like both of you. You guys, you guys murdered me. Uh-oh. No, he got me. He got me. He got me. All right. Yeah, no, no, the second round, though. Yeah, the no, but fatalities still, you still got These are sick. Yeah, look at that. That was awesome. These aren't even the fatalities. These are just oh, the, the mini ones in the one for All right, the good luck. Good luck. This is big, guys. This is for the championship. This is for last place. <laughs> 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 yeah, you got out first. Yeah, yeah you, first. And then let's yeah, see out last. This is intense, guys. I'm, I'm feeling the tension in the room here. As you, as you should, because... Best friend since 14. Big. It ends here. It ends here. <laughs> Whoever thought Mortal Kombat would end. That's it, it's it, it's it. It's going. Like, he's yep. actually thinking that's your face. Yeah, that, that's it. This, dude, this is oh, for every shit. time you've ever told me to move the camera, adjust <laughs> your fucking face, fix the audio. Yeah, what up, what up? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Look, look, I'm stepping in oh, his face. I'm stepping in his face. What is that? Hit him. Hit him. There he goes. Don't ever tell me. I'm the number one on this podcast. Get out of here. Yeah. Bro, oh, that was amazing. I don't even play this game. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Go set up the equipment. It's over. Combat is such a classic film for me in my childhood. It's definitely up there with uh, my favorite like martial arts movies. The, it doesn't quite hold up to like things like Enter the Dragon or The Last Dragon is a, is a fan favorite of mine. I think it's a very average film. I think it's just very fun. And the theme song alone gives it an extra star. So I'm going to give it a three out of five. Well, it's an action movie, so you already know where I'm going to be at uh, for most of it. I think, though, you know, it's funny. I didn't play the game. It's been, even when we watched the original for this, I hadn't played the game in a while. But playing the game, 
I like now I'm thinking about the movie and I enjoy the movie a lot more now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think I think the Mortal Kombat movies in general, new or old, are for the fans. Um, and I actually was probably a little bit harsher on it. But now that I think about it, they really do embody and encapsulate what is Mortal Kombat, especially the original. Uh, and there's some goofiness, but like even some of the things that have there are kind of goofy. So you know what? I'm yeah. actually going to, I was going to give it a two out of five. I'm going to give it a three out of five. I actually enjoyed the movie. All right, cool, cool. So when I want to watch Mortal Kombat, I want to watch action. I want to watch fighting. I want to watch, I don't care about the storyline. <laughs> All right, no storyline for me. And like you said, it is a it is a fan it yeah. it is a fan favorite. They did it for the fans. They actually um, uh, they actually have a lot of the fighting scenes that I love, um, and therefore I'm gonna give it a four out of five, just because of that and just because of the all those memories that it brings back. This has been an episode of Take Through Three. Thanks so much for watching, but a very special thank you to Giuseppe Rossi. Thanks for being on the podcast. Didn't thank know you're you Mortal Kombat fan makes you even better of a player i think so <laughs> your legacy lives on again check Thank out you. giuseppe rossi academy on instagram if you have any questions i'm assuming the next season you're gonna be starting up soon yeah Here. season new season uh starting up soon so definitely check yeah. it out guys. check it out get your spot today you don't want to miss out man's got a lot of knowledge to give so make sure you check it out as always follow us at take.303 and check out at fortway underscore media and um for this week's poll question of the week what is your favorite uh, fighting game of all time. Is it Street Fighter? Is it Mortal Kombat? It's probably not Street Fighter. And then finally, uh, <laughs> question of the week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What is your favorite Mortal Kombat character? Thanks again. Make sure you follow everywhere. Have a good one. See you next time. Bye bye.